on the sob story right now. And let me get a light here. And I'll show you what's going on today. The uh, speakers for the front were not working. You can see I've already pulled one out. And this is the second one. I've already pulled out the passenger side one and taken care of that. And now I'm doing the, or the driver side over there. Now I'm doing the passenger side. Pull the speaker out, pull the door card off. There's the door card right there. Uh, one problem with these, this sob was the very rattly windows. And so what I've done is I've taken some felt, some little uh, felt pads are about the size of a quarter that you can get in packs at Lowe's and such. And uh, if you can see, you can see one, the tan thing right there, and then another tan thing. It's, I've stuck them to the inside of the outer belt line molding or the window molding. And then there's two more right down there on the window track. Now the, the window is rattling against the track and rattling against this, this mold line right here, the outer mold line. So what you got to do is you got to take apart the inner mold line as well. There it is on the seat. There's all the rest of the stuff that comes off. You got to take apart the door and such. And I've discovered if you put these felt pads about a third of the way back and a third of the way forward on the outer uh, belt line molding in between it and the window, squash them in there because they're, uh, they're self sticky, then that'll stay. And the same thing on the window track, put a couple of them right there, squash them, make them, make them stay nice and good. And that takes care of your window rattle predominantly. I'm sure there's going to be other squeaks and rattles, but you know, that's, you take care of one problem at a time. So the other problem is the speakers. They were not the Saab speakers. As you can see, here's a speaker right here, old speaker. Separated, the paper cone was separated all around. I could have these speakers rebuilt. That's about 65, 70 bucks a piece. Or I could go to E-Euro Parts and get some new Saab speakers with the correct part number. There is a part number 4712642. And this one, same thing, 4712642. I can get them from e Euro Parts for about 70 bucks, or I can go to Best Buy. I can pick up a pair of Kenwood speakers, uh, KFC-1665R roadkill speakers and for 30 bucks and all you got to do to the um, the mounting on the, um, the speakers is you've got these little tabs that are all the way around the perimeter all you got to do is cut off the larger tabs which are most of them take some wire cutters and I just went and nipped them all off and then these Kenwoods just drop right in and you can see it looks great and it's going to sound great and so for 30 bucks for two speakers heck yeah I'm going to glue the foam ring back on and then I'm going to reinstall and I'm going to use the pigtail here that came with the the speakers because I really don't want to cut any wires in the door so what I'm going to do is I've got some some uh, speaker connectors here, crimp type spade speaker connectors. They're uh, 2.8 millimeter, I think. And you could do it a variety of ways. I just chose to do it with these. I'm gonna crimp those onto the pigtail. I'm gonna come over here and slide those male connectors into the female connector here on the car and then bolt the speaker up. And we are gonna be back in business. So, helicopter going over. So that's the sob story right now. I'll get back to you with more stuff later on uh, on how to do things to these sobs or whatever I'm working on, like that bike right there. And we will be, well, there's four, three Blackhawks, four Blackhawks. All right. Uh, the next uh, thing for the sob is going to be ahead of the front windshield underneath the windshield wiper motor 
is going to be the AC and well I say AC the rat cage motor the fan and that's crapped out so I've got to take that apart and figure out what's going on with that but that's going to be for uh, another shoot not for today so that's going to be for that's going to be it for today and I will let you guys know uh, what else happens with the, the Saab and have a good day Getting at these speakers is a little bit difficult. You need to take off the side panels here. In order to do that, you gotta take off all the, uh, the rubber stripping here and the Saab uh, kick panel. And then you gotta undo the light. Light there and the light right over there, you see that? And then undo several screws, you'll find them. It's really helpful to put the seat forward when you're doing that or even have the seat completely out the, the lower and the aft completely out if you're going to be spending some time in here redoing those things you don't have to but boy that's helpful so um, that's my advice on that one and then everything can go back go back together as you see and it's working pretty well all right talk to you later all right here we go again and what I wanted to show you guys, uh, to be honest, hi, it's Maury. Um, these, the videos got lost. Remember I was doing the, um, there's the front speaker, driver's side front, and passenger side front, passenger side back, and upside down. There's the other one on the driver's side. And what happened is those videos got lost, and so, I've only got videos for the doors. So what I'm going to do is tell you what I did with the other two speakers. Now, or the other two sets. Now, the, um, the speakers for the front, you pop off, let me see here, you pop off the grill, it just comes right off, and the speaker is right there. And it's a little uh, three and a half inch speaker and what I did, those were in-op, and so what I did is I just ordered some KFC 835 Charlie speakers, and I think it was about 30 bucks, 40 bucks, something like that, online. I couldn't find them anywhere in the local area, so the, um, when they came in, they were from Kenwood, Kenwood speakers. When they came in, I just swapped them directly follow the instructions and everything was good to go the new speakers started playing right away and so that was about the easiest one you just got to do the pigtails you'll see the pigtails right right there they come with pigtails just put those on and then um, connect them up to your existing wiring harness so I didn't cut any wires I just used uh, those mini spade connectors that I told you about earlier and so they went right in. The door speakers were a different, they were a different matter. The, um, they weren't working. I had to pull them apart, but you could see right away the cones were good. They just had some soldering that was uh, coming undone. So I just had a buddy of mine solder them back together. I don't do so good at solder. And I brought them back and they fired right up. So that was real good. I got some pictures of that, still pictures. I'll show you that. So now the entire stereo works very very well and so the backs are the the sob speakers and then all the other speakers have been replaced all right see you later